My friends, I come to you today full suited out, not because I'm dripping, but today, a day in mourning. Here I am, at the local town cemetery. It's kind of tragic looking over here. Today's video? <laughs> well, look, let me just put it this way. Even though I'm sure you'll still like the video, you might not like what I'm saying inside of the video. First things first, in this week's tinfoil hatless extravaganza, I promise this time, this video. Alright, so a couple of days ago on Friday when I was streaming, the Minecraft dropped this video and as soon as it happened, chat, me, it, we lit up with a little bit of excitement. If you were there, you might remember. The Great Wild. The End. Uh, what? When it comes to Minecraft 1.21, we're kind of at an interesting phase of development. Recently, we love it, it's been fire snapshot after fire snapshot after fire snapshot. Even last week's snapshot that was a little bit more tame was still a pretty good snapshot adding maps so you could actually find the trial chamber. The anticipation, the excitement, is probably the highest it's been in the Minecraft community in, I mean, gosh, like, feels like since the Caves and Cliffs era. I don't remember if I ever said it in a video or what, but for 1.21, kind of a lot is hanging on. If 1.21 is received badly, well, well, look, we don't gotta talk about it, okay? So with all of that in mind, end update, it's like basically at this point, maybe the number one, definitely the number one requested update of all time. The timing with this video is almost immaculate, like we're speculating what's coming next with 1.21 and then we want to drop a video called The End. But, I, I, look, I don't want to lie to you guys, I don't even want to, like, start to get your hype up for an end update or anything like that. 100%, it's not happening in Minecraft 1.21. That video, unfortunately, it has nothing. Well, it has nothing in terms of hints for Minecraft 1.21 or, heck, even 1.22. Instead, it's, like, essentially the Minecraft David Attenborough take on the entire dimension of the end, which I feel like kind of says something in general. Uh, just, just about the end. Like, I actually think it's kind of funny. With The Great Wild, kind of an ongoing series on the Minecraft channel, we've got an episode on the oceans, makes sense, an entire episode on the lush caves biome, then we have the nether in the end. Now, the nether is fine, it's full of a ton of content, but the end? I, I, how did they make the end of video longer than the nether one? Aside from a whole lot of, well, the end is boring, the end is empty, the end doesn't move, there's nothing inside of the end other than the end city, that video, unfortunately, is nothing. But this one really, it was over before it even began. We all kind of knew when 1.21 was announced to be a whole dungeon-y update that the end update just wasn't gonna happen. And so for that, one bell toll. But that one's nothing. I shake it off. Yeah, there's no emotional tie to the end update right now, so no big deal. Uh, this is gonna be hard for me to talk about. This video, this beautiful video right here, I made it in December talking about a whole frying table thing. And, and oh boy, that's one of the most intriguing sounding ideas of all time. Does it make sense with tinkering and combat? I maybe kind of have food and combat, it's tied together. But this video right here where the devs tease to frying table. Oh, God. All right, so from the tab names that we can see, let's take a look at them real quick. We have Take 5 Prototype, okay. Snapshot, uh-huh. Java Design System, okay. Probably relates to development. Something that begins with the letter B, I can't make it out. Then we have Anvil and that letter B again. S24 Features, Bedrock Gameplay UI, and Frying Table. We are led to believe that the Frying Table, it means nothing. Bora pause. And also the couple of you that sent this to me on DMs on Twitter too, I would have completely missed it. In a screenshot that is from, I think, the Psycraft Discord server, King B Dogs himself, there was never a frying table. It was literally just a tab open somebody had with a random name completely unrelated to Minecraft. All right, so look, I, I want to believe there's hope. I really do. Every single one of these other tabs definitely seems to relate to Minecraft, and it's smack dab in the middle like they were looking at it or something, but, oh, oh man, the words, we have to believe them. I feel like this is kind of one of those situations where if it smells like a dog, if it looks like a dog, if it sounds like a dog, if it, you know, it literally is a dog, well, unfortunately, we just have to believe that that's a dog. All right, so today, this Sunday, I have a little challenge for you. If you've got the time, go to Minecraft to Bedrock Edition, do combat for a little while, take damage, and wait for your health to regen. 
then go over to Minecraft to Java and do the same exact experiment. Probably the quickest way to test this one out is the husk because it's going to literally give you hunger. Uh, basically, on Java, if you don't know, you can like eat food and then pretty much instantly your health begins to climb back up and that's going to continue happening. Your saturation is going to be used up so you could basically like stand there and lose hunger. But yeah, your health refills. On Minecraft to Bedrock, it's an entirely different system. It's maybe one of the biggest parity differences today. So with all of that being said, it made almost like perfect sense that they would maybe tie the whole hunger update, revamping the mechanics that are a little bit confusing in with the combat update as well. You know, maybe actually putting good use to all of these foods so you have a little bit more that is actually making sense to eat than gold and apples, gold and carrots and steak. Our dear friend, 2020-23, right at the end of it, until 2024, I guess you're gone forever. Now on the note of this message from King B Dogs, I am not inside of the Discord, so I don't know if there was like more follow up or whatever on this, but uh, pretty flat out, that's a confirmation that it, it's over. I'm not gonna lie though, this whole frying table stuff, it got pretty loud, and I'm surprised that Mojang wouldn't just step in a little bit sooner and say, "Hey, uh, look, that is was literally nothing." Oh, it's a tough day for the Waddles YouTube channel. Please do me a favor and tap like on this video if you haven't yet, because for this one, we're going way back in time. This is a story that might be a little bit familiar to some of you. We go back and back and back to about one year ago, almost exactly. I think it was maybe in April or May last year. This short, that beautiful forehead. So this short right here was very, very strange at the time. At the time, 1.20 was nearing completion. They drop a short saying, do you have plan for adding a new boss to Minecraft? And then the villager, I mean, look, we've been here before. It's it's saying yes, straightforward. Now for context, at the time, 1.20, they didn't really add anything new and dangerous. At least not new and dangerous in the sense of like a brand new enemy, the Ravager or something big and bad. Instead, we had like, bamboo, cherry logs, and exploration stuff. It's cool. Fast forward to September when the devs revealed Minecraft 1.21 and I don't think I was the first one to make the connection that hey, hey, maybe inside of a whole combat update, they will be adding that new boss that they were hinting at earlier in the year. The bell, that familiar bell, it rings again. King B Dogs is on the same day. Just so people don't hype themselves into oblivion, it isn't a boss and there is no boss plan. The point of that hint is there are currently a way of obtaining will be different. Just wait and see. I am 99.6% sure that the context of that one is all about the heavy core and the video about it. Hey, hold up. On a different note, did I just find a secret room inside of the trial chambers? I mean, nothing's inside of it, but that was uh, definitely a secret part of the room. Interesting. So this video, we expanded on everything inside of the video in more detail in this one right here, but basically we've got the developers talking about the brand new mace item and how the heavy core is actually going to be obtained in a completely different way. Like, not how you get it right now. But that's the thing, they didn't really say exactly how we're going to actually end up getting the heavy core. They just said right now, you get it from the vault, but it might not always be that way. It's going to be a unique and rare situation instead. Now, some of the speculation around the mace, the heavy core, how you get it, has to do with the boss because it almost makes sense. You have a very overpowered tool. Maybe you have to, like, say, take on a boss and get the thing. Or, at the least, use the mace to take out that brand new boss. But today, we can put the boss to rest, too. Now, look, look, I want to be a hopeful lad. I really, really do. It is currently the 24th. I record this video a couple hours before you watch it. Maybe this is all an early, elaborate April Fool's prank, right? Mojang always does something. Please, it's an, it's an April Fool's joke. All of my dreams of the past year, they're not all ruined in one day, right? No, that, no, please, no, God, no. So this one, yeah, it just confuses me a little bit. 1.21 feels like it's the perfect time for a new boss with a new combat thing and all that stuff going on. Instead, we have a skeleton variant, and I guess the breeze is new, but you definitely don't need the mace to take it out. Also, uh, the short that they posted, like, why would they post that if they have no immediate plan in, like, the relatively short future for another boss? Like, like, sure, maybe one day a boss will come to the game, but did they literally post a short talking about something that is potentially 10 years away? <laughs> the bell, it tolls three times for the third friend, the rumor, the mystery that we, that we unfortunately say goodbye to here, now, together, today.
So no end update, no frying table update, and absolutely no boss in 1.21. To add a little bit more information to that whole boss thing, allegedly King B Dog said that they might add one later down the road. There's just not time for it inside of this update. So from this point on, this almost starts to lead into a different conversation that I think we'll go ahead and have another time. So if all of that stuff is off the table for Minecraft 1.21, and technically speaking, 1.21 snapshots haven't even officially begun quite yet, well, what's next? I guess apparently what's on the way next, and hopefully a new snapshot later this week, is really now anyone's guess, but I'm really, really hoping that 1.21, the combat update, is finally the update that actually makes combat the same on both versions. At this point, it feels like the only thing left that isn't that isn't off the table. I am so sorry about this. I really feel terrible about bringing you this news, but I just felt like it was kind of my legal obligation. We've been talking about it so much lately, but unfortunately, it is goodbye to the deer frying table and that new boss. Terrible news, but if you enjoyed the video, tap that like button, subscribe, and next up, and maybe check out this video. It will not terrify you at all. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.